Hi, it's Julian Joe here from Proper Golfing. Hope you're well. Uh, today's video is about swinging tension free uh, and it's all about enabling you to significantly improve your performance by reducing stress on your body. Really important for a senior golfer. It is, yeah. It's one of the fundamentals of the Proper Golfing method uh, as a senior golfer because tension is a force arising from contraction. Contraction is never a good thing in any sport, is it? Imagine taking a penalty shot with a stiff leg, yeah. you're gonna injure yourself. Yeah, so we've got a, a very interesting experiment we're going to show you, and uh, let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, we, don't, we sort of do know, we don't know, don't we? So Absolutely. let's crack on. Okay, so before we start, we've got to share with you the incredibly inspiring story of Michael, 78, from Texas. It's quite remarkable. Incredible, Joe. So he, Michael's just halved his handicap down to 8.6 single-figure golfers now. He's gone up from 25% to 50% greens and regulation, and he's gained between 20 and 30 yards off the tee. It's quite remarkable, really. I mean, we are the creators of Proper Golfing Virtual Academy, but he has literally done that by watching the videos in our virtual library. It's quite amazing. Okay, so today's video, as we said, is all about swinging tension free, one of the fundamentals of the Proper Golfing Method. And today we're gonna to give you a very easy way to achieve that, and it's about the breath out that we're going to prove to you, with the numbers, why it works. Yeah. So I've got a pitching wedge here, I've got a 7 iron and a hybrid. The experiment we're going to do now, I'm going to make my setup and I'm going to breathe in. I'm still going to try and make my best golf swing, but I'm going to breathe in and let's see what happens. So I'll make my normal setup now, deep breath. Okay. So I've struck that quite nicely. And what I'm interested in at first is swing speed. So my swing speed with that one was 70 miles an hour. Now I'm going to do it doing the total opposite. I'm going to breathe in to start with, and I'm going to breathe out and then hit the shot. I'm doing it with you. I don't know why. I was like literally holding my breath while you were holding yours. Okay, so I'm going to breathe in. And now I'm going to breathe out. Now that felt that totally different, mm. felt, felt much more fluid. Let's see what the swing speed was on that one. 79 miles an hour. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. That's a significant change. Let me try it with a seven iron and see if anything happens with and that for, And for the non-technical people then, explain why that's the difference. So swing speed ultimately is going to send the golf ball further. More importantly, what I felt then, I felt like I had lubricated my golf swing rather than locking it up yeah so let's do that experiment with a seven iron okay so i struck that really good it just feels tiring i know i feel the, the words i would describe it as so that's gone to 78 miles an hour even though the club's physically longer let's try that now Doing the opposite. So I'm going to breathe in and now breathe out. Oh, wow. Just the feel of the golf swing is unbelievable. I uh, don't know if it's made any difference to the swing speed, 80 miles an hour. So a gain in swing speed with the seven iron. Not as significant as it was with the wedge, but definitely different. Can you breathe out a bit longer? Can you just try, try that same club a minute and breathe out a little bit longer? Yeah, let's, let's give it a go. Just like properly breathe out. I have no idea what's gonna happen here, but like, then properly breathe out. I would say that felt even better. Uh, that's what I, that's I, think really that, I don't think that you've let out enough breath before on the previous one. So 185, 81 miles an hour, just gained another mile an hour at swing speed. Right. Without force. Keep trying it again, I want you to do another one. Right. Really, I want to do it with this. Let's try okay. it with this hybrid. So I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to breathe out first, okay. see what happens, and then breathe in. So. Oh, 
rush yardage, 222, 92 miles an hour club head speed. It will go up as the clubs get physically longer, but let's just try it now breathing in, hold that breath. So you're breathing in and holding your breath this time. Yeah, so okay. I feel relaxed now. Mm. Now I'm going to breathe in. Oh, I feel oh, so I much stiffer. Oh, <laughs> I struck that really good as well. Oh. Uh, just a couple of yards down, so just over 10 yards down there and down to 87 miles an hour. And that's purely from relaxed breathing. Yeah, I'm ch I don't feel I've changed my golf swing, although I would say the rhythm uh, was completely different from internally. What did it look like, Joe? Did it look any different? Well, I just, I, I know, I mean, I know I'm sitting here right next to you, but I, I just felt more relaxed when you were breathing <laughs> out as well. I'm just interested to see how much further you can relax. Um, yeah, shall like... we give it a go? Let's give it one more go. Can you properly just like, Breathe out, breathe out, keep going, breathe out, breathe out. Shoulders feel really relaxed there as well. I mean, that just looks so much now, nicer. Interesting there, Joe. I actually caught that one slightly heavy, right. caught the ground. Now, I'm over the moon with that. As a golfer, you probably won't be happy with that. But the reason is because my muscles have extended. Okay. which has allowed yeah, me yeah. to hit uh, a little bit more in, into the ground. Now, what that will also do is enable me to stand a fraction taller, which is taking pressure off my lower back as well. So it's a, it's a side effect, but again, 91 miles an hour uh, club head speed, which is decent for, I'm a senior golfer. Yeah, that's it's improved when you're more relaxed. You're more definitely, relaxed. yeah. Because I know in previous videos, if you've been following Julian for a long time, he has been talk about relaxing, you know, before you hit the golf ball, but. The breath out is a really important point because scientifically what it does is when you breathe out you're letting out carbon dioxide so it naturally wants to you know you can naturally oxygenate oxygenate your blood a lot better when you, when you breathe in so it's really important about the breath out and i'm going to make sure that i get this right here but basically research has shown that um especially when you're making a golf shot is that um, it slows down when you slow down and extend your exhale you improve like your prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain, which is responsible for decision making, attention, and impulse control, which is really important. I mean, well, that's super important team, on exactly. a golf course. Oh my God, you know, hazards, first tee nerves, um, trying too hard, you know, we, we tend to get a little bit scrambled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the science behind that, Joe. So the thing to do is experiment with this um, on the range or in, at home or anywhere like that, just to experiment exactly how much air you can let go I, i'm going to challenge you Ooh. outside see who can like breathe out for the longest okay um but hopefully that's demonstrated to you today a really simple way of swinging tension free in the proper golfing virtual academy library we are this week recording another 14 videos on how to swing tension free mm. okay so it's a mind and body connection thing but i'm excited about that content yeah and me joe um it's making a massive difference to everybody who's yeah, joined yeah, isn't it so, yeah, yeah. Listen to Michael's um, transformational journey, it's quite incredible. 78 year old guy, I don't know whether you're that age, whether you've got fears about technology and stuff, but our platform is really user friendly. I'm always on the end of the phone should you need any help and support with it. Um, but you know, we hope to see you there. I think that's it for today, Julian, is it? Yeah, go out and try it. Yeah, we'll see you later. Take, Take care. care, bye for now. Bye.